What's up, everybody? It's me. You're tuning into On The Radar. So we're going to do the Nutribullet combo review, but we're also going to kind of do a double thing because I'm going to show you guys how to make CMOS if you don't know how to make CMOS. For me, the major thing that I use my Nutribullet for is CMOS. So let's just get into it. Now, if you don't know what CMOS is, I'm going to explain a little bit as I'm rinsing this off. So CMOS comes from the ocean, if you don't know. It has 92 of the 102 minerals that our body needs. It does a ton of things for you from detoxing, clearing out mucus, helps with anti-inflammation. Anti it, it, it does a million things, <laughs> trust me. But what you wanna do with your CMOS, once you soak it, you rinse it, you soak it for 24 hours, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna just stick it in your blender and then we're going to blend it up. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to make some sea moss, but we're also going to test out this new bullet for the first time. So one thing, when you're soaking your, your, your sea moss, as well as when you are um, blending it, you want to use tap, not, you never want to use tap water. <laughs> you want to use purified water, bottled water, anything other than tap water. So this is um, filtered water. So you're going to want to add a lot of water. That's good. If I need to add more water, we'll add more water. So again, this is the first time that I'm going to be using this Nutribullet. So I want to see how it blends up. I usually use an old Nutribullet that I have, and I also use my old Ninja. That's what I usually um, blend it in, and I'm usually blending it in small batches like this in these type of cups, the 16-ounce cups. So I'm doing more production. Uh, making more CMOS gel for people, so I need a bigger container. I need to make a bigger volume at once. Here's the thing. If you make an Irish CMOS, now there's two different kinds. of There's many different kinds of um, CMOS species, but for the most part, if you're making this kind, which is Grossularia, you, you um, need a certain amount of water. If you're making pure Irish CMOS, which I'll show you in a different video. Well, actually, I have it right here. I'm going to be making this also. So I, I almost forgot. So... This sea moss is different from this sea moss, okay? So if you're making the Grossularia, which is this one, you got to add a lot of water. If you're using this one, which is the Irish sea moss, you don't need as much water. So be careful when you're blending. You don't need so much water because this holds a lot more water. So a lot of what people tend to do is they add too much water and then it becomes soupy and then you got to keep adding more sea moss. So just... Be careful. So again, this is the first time we're going to use this Nutribullet. So I'm going to start on high and we're going to see how it blends. So let's go. Turn it on. <laughs> Don't forget to turn it on. <laughs> and let's hit the... Yeah! <laughs> Now, typically what I do with my sea moss when I'm blending it, I usually blend it for about 60 seconds because it takes a little minute to break down. Now, I'm going to show you real quick as we're going. I can already tell I'm going to have to add more sea moss to this. It's already kind of like soupy, but I'm going to blend it. Blend. Actually, I'm just going to add some more already because I already know how to do it. So I know this needs more sea moss. What I recommend is when you're making sea moss to start on the lesser side of the water because it's easier to add more water than to have to add more sea moss if you don't have it available. So always, before you start to understand your ratios, um, always start with less water and work your way that way. Let's go. See what it looks like all right so once your sea moss is blended and this is the one thing i notice about this bullet is it's not super loud the older ones that i have they're really really loud and this is bigger and it has more wattage it's stronger so for it to be bigger stronger has a stronger engine a stronger cup it's actually not as loud as the smaller older bullet so that's good because the noise factor is very very important now if you can see how the sea moss is i'm going to pour it what i personally do is when I'm, when I'm testing it, from when I'm making personal batches, I just grab it to see how grainy it is. If I'm making it for other people, 
then I use a, um, I'll pour a little bit out or I'll put gloves on and I'll see. This is still grainy. So this is letting me know that it still needs to blend some more. So this is the one thing with sea moss, give it time to blend. And when you're blending, sometimes for a minute, sometimes two minutes, it's gonna get hot from the spinning in the blade. So don't worry about it. If it gets hot, if it gets warm, that's no issue at all. Real quick, and I'm gonna show you, when we're blending the Irish sea moss, it actually takes longer to blend up because this breaks down quicker. For some reason, the, the, the gold, the Gracilaria type of sea moss, it breaks up easier. Because this is more leafy and it has more smaller parts, it takes longer for it to grind and break down. So just be aware of that when you're blending your different sea mosses. So let's finish doing this. I'm doing extract this time to see if it's any different. Now, one thing with extract that I noticed, it is quieter. So with extract, it's gonna start, it's gonna stop, it's gonna go through the different modes. The one thing I do miss about my older, actually my, my Ninja, which I wish all of these things would, would it has the, the, the display where it shows you the time. That's kind of, um, I, I realized how important that was. All right, so let me see. All right, so this is smooth, and this is how your CMOS gel is going to look. Now me, I like my gel. This is gonna be, so it's, it's, it's nice and thick. It's in a gel form. Now what's gonna happen is when you put it in the fridge and, and, and it solidifies, it's gonna be even more solid. I like to have it more, um, because I take it by spoon a lot, I like to have it personally a little bit more looser and less you know, solid. So this would be good for most people. That's all you really need to do to make your sea moss. That's it. You just blend it for a few minutes, it gets like this, and then you pour it into your cup. But I'm just gonna show you for me how I would do it because I like it a little bit looser once it, it solidifies. But you know, just like I said, this would just be it. You just pour it in your container, put it in the fridge, and then you're good. It's really that simple. Now I like the way this Nutribullet is performing because it's, it's quiet. And I can, like I said, I like the big cup. I can produce a lot. This is eight cups. So um, this can produce a lot of sea moss at one time. Whatever else you might be blending or, or putting in here, you have a nice big cup. And it has the versatility because like when I make my smoothies in the daytime, I don't need such a huge quantity. So I can get the little cups. It comes with the two 16 ounce cups, one with a handle, one without, and this is good. And you know, if you're making juice for two, this is enough usually or if it's just for single, depending on how much you like to make, that's enough. So let me blend this up a little bit more. I'm gonna do medium this time since I don't, I'm just mixing it with the water. Let's see how the medium, I wanna now see how the sound is with the medium setting. So just an observation, I see a little bit of the water that I poured in. It's not mixing it, it's kind of sitting on the top, so I'm gonna go with high now. Yeah, there we go, there we go. That, that's it. So. Let's pour it in, see how this looks. When, you, when, when you're pouring your sea moss, when it's, when it's done, it should be nice and smooth. It just pours in. It shouldn't be lumpy, shouldn't be gritty. You pour it right in. Let me see. It's very, very smooth. That's how it should look. That's how it should be. And that's it. 
So that's, that's how you make CMOS. Um, now, as far as this for the first time using this blender, it's pretty good. Like I said, it, it, it obviously works. You don't have to blend the CMOS too long, which is good. That means the mold is strong, the blades are good. And um, the, 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 the noise, the noise factor is a big thing. So, um, like I said, it's not overly loud. A lot of us like to juice things in the evening. Some people juice stuff at night for the next day. Some people are cooking late and doing all types of, you know, pureeing and stuff like that. So this is pretty good so far just from the noise factor. You're not stressing anybody out. You can kind of hold a conversation. A lot of times when I'm making my smoothies and if I'm talking to somebody, I got to be like, wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> then you run it and then you stop. So it, this is not overly loud. So that's cool. Um, if you want some CMOS, I'm going to be doing more videos making, I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to make this, um, the iris gel. So tune into the next video. Look for the link in the description. Look for the link up here. I'll show you how it mixes the, the iris CMOS and you'll see what I mean where it takes a little bit longer and I don't use as much water, but to make this video shorter, we'll just do this in the next video. So tune in, subscribe if you want. If you're looking for the Nutra Ninja, I mean, I'm the Nutra Ninja, the Nutra Bullet, um, so far it's, it's good. I'm going to be doing more videos using this link in the description for Amazon. If you want to purchase it off of Amazon, if you want to purchase some CMOS, go to radarplusnutrition.com. Um, and that's pretty much it. Tune in next time. Salute.